Match day five of the AFC Champions League. We are at the beautifully appointed Sultan Ibrahim Stadium in Johor. It is the um, venue for the match between Guangzhou FC from China and Johor Darul Taksim, the eight-time champions of Malaysia. For Johor Darul Taksim, they are coming off a stunning 5-0 defeat against Kawasaki Frontale. However, the possibility of qualification as group winners is still in their own hands. Victory here and against Ulsam at the same venue on Saturday, and they would top the group. A victory here and a draw against Ulsan would mean they would lose out on goals difference to both Kawasaki and Ulsan. That's how tight it is for Johor Darul Taksim. As for Guangzhou FC, well, they've lost four games already, conceded 21 goals in the process. Not really a surprise considering the young, uh, young team that they sent for this competition. It's 27 degrees, it's sultry, it's 90% humidity, no real wind in this lovely stadium. Slightly um, less crowd than normal. We've had 16 and 17,000 so far. Looks to be around about eight or 9,000 for today, but that might fill up before the kickoff time. But for Johor, they know the job that they've got to do, and priority number one, win this game. The actual scoreline doesn't matter. So long as they win, it puts them in with a chance of topping the group, and they can put everything onto Saturday's match against Ulsan. As for Guangzhou, damage limitation, I'm sure, will be the name of the game. Although I can tell you they've got a debutant goalkeeper in Zhang Zhihao. The 18-year-old will be making his first start at the top level and in the AFC Champions League. There he is in the grey shirt. And this is quite some baptism of fire. Earlier on today, Ulsan edged out Kawasaki by three goals to two. So Olsen had fine-tuned uh, their play after being winless in the first two matches. They've now won three on the trot, and it was a little bit easier than the 3-2 suggests. Kawasaki, although they had chances, only scored in the 94th minute to pull back from 3-1 down to make it 3-2. So Olsen, it's in their hands as well. If they win against Johoya here on Saturday, they will win the group. If they draw, then we go down to a, a computation between uh, the, the best uh, teams who play each other, apart from the bottom place team, which will be Guangzhou. That's why the goal difference doesn't matter, and that's why it's all about the result. They call them the boys of straights, and they're trying to make a, a good atmosphere they have in the four previous matches. I can tell you, Johor have run the change as well. Johor have got three players who will be making their AFC Champions League debuts uh, today. And they have used 25 players in the five matches or the five lineups that they've used so far in this competition. We're going to see the introduction of the likes of Carly De Merga, a Filipino at centre-back. Shama Kuti, a Malaysian international, will get a start. And also a first start for another Malaysian international, Akia Rashid. They have got an abundance of players with international pedigree. Uh, Johor Darrell Taksim. But being able to change from the domestic scene and make it work on the international scene is a, a very, very different proposition. Guangzhou Evergrande, five de uh, four defeats already, hefty defeats as well. We go down the list and it started here, 5-0 on match day one, 8-0 against Kawasaki. And then Ulsan rather took pity on them, 3-0 and 5-0. Got to say though, in the last match against Ulsan, the 5-0, they did perform their best going forward and they did at least threaten the Ulsan goal. And it was a couple of late goals that really hurt them. And their coach, uh, Pan Yong Hei, has got reason to be proud of the efforts of his players. It was always going to be a massive, monumental task for them. And so it has proven, but their players haven't given up. They've given everything they possibly can. They just aren't good enough for this level. The strains of the AFC anthem. A beautiful playing surface awaits us at the Stadium Sultan Ibrahim. 
It was christened in, or was opened, sorry, inaugurated in 2020. And to be in the home for Jahal Darrell Taksim. But they were rather humiliated on it the other day. So they've got a little bit of retribution to do. This is the AFC Champions League Group I. This is Guangzhou versus Johor Darrell Taksim. Guangzhou in the strip that we know so well as they won the championship in 2013 and 2015, but this is a pale shadow of that side, although several of their players have really acquitted themselves very well, particularly the number 66, Yang Sim. He's the senior player, the granddaddy of the team at the age of uh, 28. He's trying to look after everybody else. And there's your Davidson goalkeeper coming in at the age of 18, Zhang Jihao, has got a big task. On the other side of the pitch will be Fariz Almalias, who will be looking to forget the five goals that went past him. This is the Guangzhou lineup. It's fairly familiar to us, just two changes from the side that lost to Ulsan, but five of this team only started in the match day one game against uh, uh, Johor. Look out for Yang Sin, the number 66. Going forward, they'll try their best to get Yego Chan. Uh, to pressurise the Johor back three, as I'm anticipating it to be. But very much it'll be a defensive rearguard action. Certainly a fortnight to remember for these young fellas amongst very difficult times within China and the economy of Chinese football. Maybe we're going to see some starlets emerge from here. This fella's done himself no harm whatsoever. He already has played uh, once for the first team before this tournament. But his performance in the heart of defence has, has really been one of the shining points. Hadari Payam from Iran is the match official, assisted by officials from Iran and the Oman. Omar al Yakubi with the mask is the fourth official for today. Faz al Malias is the experienced 35 year old Malaysian international goalkeeper, and he will take his place, having recovered from injury that forced him to miss the first two matches and the win over Guangzhou, and he will captain the side. Carly de Merga is a, a new player as far as AFC Champions League goes. And there he is at the, as a back three. Not sure Hong will play there, it could be Hong or Shama Kuti. Shama Kuti has certainly played there in the past, but Hong Wong gets a, a second opportunity, maybe to, to be the new Nacho Inter. But uh, Bergson de Silva returns up front, and he's the top scorer for Johor with four goals. On the bench, Tu Meng Han and Go Xie and Fang Haizu have all regularly come on. And there's new names on the bench as well. Adam Norazlin, international, hasn't been used. Eskunalan, Mohamed Samare, Daniel Amie, all internationals who haven't been used in the 25 players so far. As I said, it is a surfeit of riches that uh, Johor Darrell Taksim have got. It has its critics, in that many of those players are not playing regularly. But what do you do? Bergson de Silva in focus and the focal point for Johor. Scored seven goals in four league games. Add the four goals he scored in three matches here. Carly de Merga signed from Tringanu, another Malaysian club, but he's a Philippines international. There was who persuade of uh, Bienvenu Marignon, who played in the last game, to come and join. So new names all over the pitch, as far as we're concerned, for Johor. Familiar names and a familiar task for Guangzhou FC. Diego Chang gets us underway, AFC Champions League Group I. Guangzhou in the red versus Johor, Daryl Taksim. Immediately pressing coming in from Johor. That'll be very much the way they go for it. Chami Safari starting on the left-hand side as left wing back. 
Harry Byman starting on the right. It very much looks like uh, being that 3-4-1-2 formation, which has become familiar. As Cheryl Saad reintroduced the side, looks over, finds Carly de Merger. There's Shamakuti. Hongwa. Who, after a bright start against Kawasaki, really discovered the passive move tricks of Kawasaki Frontale. But he's a young lad. Highly rated is the Johor number six. Immediately we're seeing the five at the back. It's a 5-4-1 for Guangzhou. Ray Rubiao can't keep that alive, but there's a, a knock there for Harry Feynman. As we have a look at the respective coaches. charge of this group of players and Benjamin Mora has been at the helm for a number of successes for JDT the preeminent team in Malaysia champions in each of the last eight years on top of the league with four wins out of four this season even though some of the teams around them have played six matches you are still top of the table is Shami Safari lovely ball Akira Rashid spins through Thought he was taken out. There was a sliding challenge coming in from Yang Sin. Real pace. And as he turns back, well, certainly in the modern game. No, no, it looks like he's run into the player rather than the players taking him out. His momentum took him into the slide. So, decent decision. Nasmi Faiz. He's regularly trusted with the starting lineup uh, by Coach Mora, the Mexican. Hong Wan. Under pressure from Su Tian Shi. Shama Kuti playing on the left hand side of a back three. Shami Safari, time from Salangor, has. Played on the left-hand side, normally a right-back, very much a right-footer. Nazmi. Spread out wide by Shamakuti. Just flicked away by Wang Tianjing, who's playing his fifth consecutive game. He was part of the team that uh, played last season as well, where their results were a little bit more respectable than here. Nazmi, Bergson. No space there. Just nicked away from him. Akia. Might break to Leandro and does. Bergson. Just so many red shirts in that central area. Johor not getting it out wide and Geron Biao can run. But Hong Wan does just enough. Wants the throw in, doesn't get it. Looks bemused. Possessed there by Wang Tianqing. Fires out, just helps it forward. Ali de Merger drives forward. It's a side that's never played together, obviously, and has in training, but not in a, a serious match. Bergson dropping deep. Notable that they're playing very narrow. Yeah. 
So now, indeed, there is absolutely nobody wide at all. They've got a designated left wing back, Tian Ching, and also Ye Yun Biao theoretically playing out wide. Arif. One thing you can say about Guangzhou, as this tournament has gone on, they have got more disciplined. As that's flicked into Bergson. Yang Si, though, with the first of what will be many important interventions, I'm sure. Leandro. First involvement for the Davidson goalkeeper. Shami Safari trying to head that back in towards the danger area. It's a 50-meter ball by Leandro right on the button. Not the best knockback in from Shami. You can see what he was trying to do. Demurga's header. Tian Shi. Demurga. Velasquez. The Argentine again looking for movement ahead of him. Akirashi comes short. And Nazmi. Another well, miscontrols the pass. Jia Hao can come forward. Demurga. Under pressure from Diego Chen. Finds Farizal. Matches in 15 days, even beginning to take the toll on the goal miles on this splendid pitch. But the outfield looks uh, pretty true. Shami, every time he comes back in on his right foot. Akia is a more natural winger. Shami Safari took the man away, and Akia spreads it out wide for Arif Ayman. Pull back for Nazmi. Controlled by Nazmi and a little clip on the ankle. Yang sees long ball, dealt with by Cheryl Saad. Chaw made nine changes on the side that lost to Ulsan. Sorry, the team that lost to Kawasaki have got Ulsan on their, my mind because Saturday is make or break. Johor has the results of uh, evened out. Let's assume that, let's assume they win here. And let's assume that uh, Kawasaki beat Guangzhou. Well, if Johor win against Ulsan, they will top the group. If they draw, they will come third with the same number of points as Ulsan and Kawasaki. But they would go out on goal difference in matches played between those three. So that 5-0 having real repercussions, potentially. A lot of football to play between now and then. Here's Velasquez. He's looking for Bergson. Wasn't far away. in the 10-minute mark. Thank you, Rashid. Cleverly done from Akia. And then taken in two. And a yellow card. Absolutely deserved for G Lee Jiahao. Wonderful skill from Akia. But he's paid for his art. That's what's happened there. He really has paid for his art. Have a look at this. Look through the legs, nice little nutmeg. And then, because of the nutmeg, kick across the shim and follow up with a knee into the rib cage. Why not? 
not a brave challenge. Corner comes in. Yangtze is there. And Yahao. Well run back, good work by Nazmi. Is played on here because Guangzhou have got possession. But Shamakuti up from the back is um, putting real pressure on them. Here on Biao. Diego Chen had made a run and was disappointed that uh, Run Biao didn't play him in. Nazmi, he's got Akyar ahead of him. He takes it on a one touch too many. Hong Wong. Nice ball at pace into Akira Rashid. Nazmi. Charles Saad. Velasquez can really well close down. This is a very different Guangzhou side from the match they won team, although they've had hammerings left, right and centre. Their discipline is there, and you saw Sadir, who came in after the defeat against Johor. He's made them look a little bit more organised defensively. Coach Benjamin Mora was, uh, won't be surprised at the improvement of Guangzhou. He was saying they'll be organised and disciplined, awkward to break down. Shami Safari. Shamakuti, Yangtze is there again. High up into the Johorian sky. Just misjudged by Shao Saad. Shamakuti pretty much interchangeable. There is Shama. Hong Wong spreads it out. Spent some time with the uh, English Premier League side Wolverhampton Wanderers. In fact, English born is Hong Wong. So it's uh, seen as a bit of a coup for him to come to Johor. He wasn't on the cusp of the first team or anything, but well regarded in the under 21s as Nazmi Faiz, who's been well regarded for a number of years in Malaysia, finds. Shami Safari looks for Velasquez. Sadir as well. Arif's ball. Penalty. Burks and the silver was being manhandled to the floor. Bungie fan really has got an answer there because Berg's got the wrong side of him and Bungie fan has grabbed him around the waist. And the referee is no more than three meters from the incident. As the corner comes in, Bungie fan. Yeah, that's uh, <laughs> could not be closer to the referee. One thing trying to stay close to you, man. It's 
So 15 minutes in, Bergson the Silva looking for his fifth AFC Champions League goal of this group. G. Howe, the debutant, faces him. Bergson slides it under the keeper, who's frustrated. He went the right way, maybe got a hand to it, but Bergson. Plenty of power, and Johor have the lead that they desired. 12th goal in AFC Champions League and League this season. It is phenomenal. Ooh, goalkeeper, not far away, not far away. Clean strike. Oh, it's gone under the arm. That's the, that's why he's annoyed. That's why he's annoyed. Big lad for 18. Charles Saad. Leandro Velasquez drops deep, just demands possession. Bergson doing the same. He's after the give and go. All the Guangzhou players getting a little bit irate with the, the referee. They didn't like the penalty against him. It's Fang Fan once again. He just needs to settle himself down. Otherwise, he's going to react. There wasn't a yellow card for the, for the penalty incident, so no yellows. But that's a foul. He's got... And the referee is right on point, back live. Nazmi Faiz, Shamakuti drives one. Little touch over the top. Again, Guangzhou dispute the decision, but most noticeably the goalkeeper didn't. Always rising. Oh, he's nowhere near the ball, is he? That one, I think, is an error from the referee. Never mind. Charles Sard's header ends up in the safe gloves of Jiang Jihao. Leandro, Arif will chase it in, goalkeeper reaches high. on the goal kick from Jang, but Shamakuti helped it up. Yangtze. Akia. Got that little bit of zip in him, Akia Rashid. Hasn't played much football this year. Played in a 10-0 FA Cup drubbing. Enjoyed himself, but only one other appearance. This is first AFC Champions League appearance. Velasquez fizzes one across the turf. Hong Wong. Shami hasn't once got to the byline yet. Arif. Job. 
with loads of the ball, but it's all in front of Guangzhou. Not really hurting them from here. Although Han Guan has made a ball into Akya and Shami Safari. Just trying to curve that one into the top corner. Header. Hang Guan takes control, good communication. Marzal distributes immediately out to Shami Safari. Akya wanted at his feet. Does like to run a players. Chen Kun is the player who's facing him. Yeah, and good dominant goalkeeping. Six, seven yards out. High ball in is meat and drink to a confident goalkeeper. Early Pan was the goalkeeper for the first four matches and made some really, really good saves. And there's a head injury as Shamakuti rather went through his man, who I think is uh, Su Tianxi. Sadia having words. Just a robust challenge. Drop ball, possession to Arif Ayman and Tianxi is okay. Shamakuti definitely all right, he's a big solid, solid player. For those players who haven't been in the first team for Johor, this is a rare opportunity to show Benjamin Mora that they have got what it takes. Bergson, out to Arif. Shami Safari. Nazmi, cleverly done. Shami, Shaman available. Hongwan, patient build up from Johor. And then not so patient from Hongwan, trying to force it. Chen Cheng caught in trouble. Velasquez. He's got Arif outside of him. Eventually, this is Arif. Arif Ayman's cross. Jaxi, as always, man in the right place. Then Shadir's header. Just can't get the ball, but they're keeping their composure. After one or two threatened to lose their heads, are Guangzhou. Very patient, probing, three shots for Johor, none for Guangzhou. Up to 20 plus passes now until Shamakuti just tries to force it and it's uh, easily seen off by Feng Fan. Velasquez, Shami, and all right foot Shami, Shamakuti, round the corner, asks a lot of Nazmi, can't keep it alive.
Sada Jiang. He's a teenager. But he's impressed. It's cleverly done. Yang Si. Diego Chen. He's the other experienced player of the group at 25. Experience in inverted commas. Wang Jing. Ye Run Biao. Six minutes gone. Johor know that this isn't the most important game. They just need to negotiate their way through it. They're utterly bossing possession. But it's all very much practice match pace at this stage. Shamakuti. Not really for Guangzhou. They're chasing around like anything. Although keeping their shape, a very rigid 5-4-1. Sure of Go Chen, the number 77, has had a touch other than the kickoff. Bergson, Akya couldn't get there. Arif might. Velasquez. Here's Kali de Merga. He was looking for Akya Rashid. Throw in will go the way of Johor Darrell Taksim. Akia feeling a little bit groggy. Velasquez. Yangtze, as always, in the way. Velasquez wins it back. Really important to the Johor cause, Le Leandro Velasquez. You don't really realize until he's not there. Little give and go look for Akia. Good, strong defending by Shadow Jiang. And there's a problem. And there's a problem for Aki Rashid. He's calling for the trainer, and he's gone down awkwardly. The defender's just stronger than him there. And what happened to the ankle? Little spin and turn away. Defender's protecting the space. He looks in genuine pain, right ankle. So the referee decides that this is a, a good enough time to actually take the, the drinks break. It's not been inspirational stuff, if uh, on us, but Johor have had all the ball, and they've got the only goal, courtesy Bergson, the Silvers penalty, after Bergson himself had been manhandled in the penalty area. Here is the incident, the number 63, just at the edge of the shoulder. And you can see the referee is right there. Pam Haidari, despite the protests. And he hits it well, but it goes under the goalkeeper's dive. And that's why the debutant, uh, Jiang Jihao, pummels his fists on the lush turf. Grant will have words with him about that. Plenty of energy, those boys. There's a, a few girls in there as well, but it's mainly the boys of straights. There's Yang Si, finds Tian Shi, Wang Xing, Diego Cham, instantly tackled by Carly de Merga. Tian Shi, it's a decent ball. Jia Hao can chase, he's got three options in the penalty area. Into corner. Nicely done by Guangzhou. Firm challenge on Ji Hao. He's up and about. He picked up a yellow card earlier. 
So interesting. Two players marking zone for Johor. Everybody else picking up players and Faris out. Catches under pressure, does well. Had to wait an age for the ball to drop to him. The captain then feeds Charles Saad. Signed from Perra, middle of last year. Tianchi. That's a bit aggressive from Akia Rashid. And Akia might find himself in trouble. Indeed, a yellow card for Akia. And Tianchi. Can't really understand that from Akia. Maybe just wanting to vent his frustration, but he's not going to win that ball. Oh, that's, that's a pretty lousy challenge. For, forwards challenge, as they say. Charles Sard lets it spin out for a throw-in back live for Johor. Harry Feynman, Ooh, he's under pressure, he's had a quiet return to the team, but he found Hong Wong, nicely done. And then look at this space here, Nazmi Fires has got Chami Safari, flying down the wing in front of him, but plenty of red shirts back. Bergson wanted an earlier pass, the crowd wanted an earlier pass. Here's Chami, is he going to drop? Yep, back onto his right foot, but Bergson! Bergson again! A one to off the crossbar. He's different gravy. Look how he challenges, he gets in front of Sadir. And then while everyone else is watching, he puts in the spectacular. That would have been, that really would have been one for the show reel, that. If he can keep this down. Velasquez. Always looks so comfortable with the ball at his feet. He's able to shift it 60 meters. But there, the right foot, the wrong one to go with for that ball from Shami Safari. He is so right footed. And being asked to play the Corbin on roll down the left hand side. Velasquez, Akia, Arif, Ken Berg's on the target, put out by Chen Kun, wasn't much communication for him, so safety first from Chen Kun. Nazmi, this is Hong Wong, Hong Wong might fancy this, but gets it completely wrong. Once Guangzhou left sleeping a little bit, very aware of the challenge of uh, Bergson, leaving Hong Wan in eight acres of space on the edge of the penalty area. Ten minutes to half time. And 15th minute penalty for Bergson. The only goal, he has hit the bar. Hong Wan slides that through. Needed to. Shami Safari seeing so much of the ball. As we then comes inside. Leandro, it is all very narrow for Johor. That's um, rather helping Guangzhou. Bergson dropping back. Oh. 
Shamakuti. Bidwell is aware of Yegrojan and his challenge. Demurga resisting the temptation to try the 30 yard shot. Click through. Yang Sin. That's nicely done again by Yang Sin. He has impressed. Zenfang holds on to it. Chen Kun goes into the corridor but runs into Leandro. Now we've got a three on four break. Leandro Velasquez can't pick out Akia. Just took a bobble as he hit it. Just affected the, the quality of the pass. Tianqi. Harith doing a good job defensively. Akia. Sanity Hank, you shall not pass, my friend, and pass he did not. Shamakuti really has got a, a wandering role. I suppose with no defender, you may as well make the extra player. Hong Wan will sit in for you. Akira Rashid. Patience might pay dividends later on because this will really be tiring for Guangzhou. Shifting left and right and left and right, little 10 yard. Not sprints, but two thirds, three quarter pace. See, they've got to adjust and a shift again. Shame, Bergson, Leandro, Hongwan. But it is all in front of the organized Guangzhou team. Possessional stats in the 80s. Shots on goal, not that many. Velasquez, Bergson. They're trying to go through the middle once again, and there's a lot of red shirts there. Now Arif. Maybe he can get across in Arif. He can, but it's cleared. Inevitably by Yangsin. And off the ball from Yego Chen. Nothing subtle by that, about that from Yego Chen. Sure, how Mr. Haidar is Cantonese is. But it's oh, he's just taking him out again. Young players not really knowing, and there's a change. Boche comes on, and I think uh, I saw Tian Chi disappearing. Rembio. Bit more physicality from the teenager Guoche. Velasquez looks for Bergson. Yangtze. Then helped by Yi Fan. And then helped by Ji Hao. Merger has to be careful. But there's not enough red shirts up in support. Even if Diego Chan had won the ball, there was 
nobody for him to capitalize on. It's a case of boot the ball up to the big fella and see if he can do anything. Arif. Akia. Gemurga. Bergson. Bergson finds he's a shot. Bushway's first involvement. They just can't get hold of the ball when they do get it, Guangzhou, but they're defending in depth on the edge of the penalty area. Nazmi. Velasquez. Rather well, hurried the pass and was picked off, but Chamakuti looks for Bergson. Javor always on the front foot. Here's Cheryl Saad. Bergson. Trying to do the give and go. Instead, finds Akia. Akia Rashid. having a frustrating time with Akia Rashid. And the man on the floor having a, a painful time of it is Chen Jumfeng. He was on the floor, but Johor played on. before half-time. Very organised, disciplined performance by Guangzhou. Probably been looking at uh, how the other young Chinese teams have been playing in other groups. Shandong, I think it was, got a goalless draw in one match. But here's Akira Rashid. Thrilling run when he does get the ball at his feet. Pongwam. Shal Saad. Again, sideways and backwards. That's better. That breaks the line. And Aaron Feynman pulls it back. Somehow couldn't convert Akira Rashid. But somehow it's because of fabulous challenge by Chen Kun. The fullback had tracked the runner back here. After Arif got behind and put in a a lovely cross across the six-yard line. That was better from Joel Akia. Really good defensive work from Chen Kun. There's no doubt that there's only going to be one winner of this game. It is only 1-0. In the second half against Ulsan, there were a few times when Guangzhou came out of their shell. Put together a, a couple of half-decent moves for the couple of decent saves from the keeper against Ulsan. Akyar dispossessed by Yifan. Two minutes to add on at the end of this first half, which has been utterly bossed possession-wise by Johor. Shami, Akia. Shamakuti, formerly of Penang. Faiz, and some time at Salango. That's a nice ball into Arif. Arif's cross, back post, Shami. Maybe if it's a left footer, you wait for that to come on. But he's always got to angle his body, Shami Safari. Bergson. And 
Velasquez, comfortable into the midriff of Ji Hao. Well, this is the ball played into Shami Safari. You can see he's making the run and then never gets his angles right, does he? Never gets his body shape right. will be very happy with their first half performance. They've really restricted Johor, and much changed Johor, but they've really restricted Johor. The penalty, and Bergson showing a little bit of magic with a header and overhead kick. But otherwise, there hasn't been a huge amount to scare a team that's been well marshaled by Yangtze at the back. Paras Amalius has barely had a save to make, just one cross from a corner. Diego Chen has worked hard up front, but just the one goal past the debutant goalkeeper, Jang Ji Hao, and that was by Bergson. 15th minute penalty, half time at the Sultan Ibrahim Stadium in Johor. It's Guangzhou FC nil, Johor Darrell Taxi 1.
A very warm welcome back to our coverage of the AFC Champions League Group I clash at the Sultan Ibrahim Stadium in Johor. Johor Darul Taksim, the host, but the designated away team for this match against Guangzhou. Out onto the pitch first, Guangzhou. Uh, a young group of players who have struggled in this tournament, but have manfully, or boys, have done a man's job. And this has arguably been their best performance of the competition so far, restricting Johor to just a single goal. That coming from the man on the left of that screen, Berks and the Silver from the penalty spot after 15 minutes. But Johor Daul attacks him. The equation in this group is quite straightforward. They need to win this game to give themselves a chance of winning the group. Should they win this game and then inflict a second defeat on Ulsam? They've already beaten them 2-1 in this tournament. Should they beat Ulsan on Saturday, they will go through as group winners. But they've got to win here, and that little knot of Guangzhou fans will be encouraged by what they've seen from their Guangzhou team. Most disciplined performance so far for them. It is only 1-0. It could have been more, but effectively, Guangzhou have been able to nullify Johor for the most part. Underway in the second half. No changes from the 11s that finished the first half. Johor in the blue, going from right to left. I should say the blue and red, the state colours, Guangzhou, in their traditional colours, red shirts, white shorts, with a, a little bit of yellow fringing. Johor in possession. Shami Safari, again, cuts back onto his right foot, but Bergson the target. Yanks in. With a, a good head of clearance. A foul there just to take out uh, Van Ching. Well, Tian Ching just recovers. Guangzhou, they've got uh, debutant Jiang Ji Hao in goal, a back three of Fungi Fam. 66 Yang Sin, 68 Sada Jiang. Midfield four, the wing backs Chen Kun 67, Chen Tung Feng 43, Su Tian Shi, who picked up a yellow card in the first half, and Wang Tian Ching, Li Jia Hao, and Guo Xie in support of Guo Chen up front, and Guo Xie's got forward, and Carly de Merger has to hurriedly clear. Well, at 1 0, this will give a, a little bit of confidence. Look at that. Charles Saad left for dead and Carly de Merger defending well on the edge of a six yard line. Corner, second of the match for Guangzhou. Leandro Velasquez heads clear. Although the man who was marking Guo Xie has been left in a, in a heap in the penalty area. Here is Velasquez. Shamakuti and Velasquez not tempted to put it out. And Goshe, who it was who went down, he gets back up with things and runs forward. And Johor. That possession as they did for much of the first half. Filipino Carly de Merga, or Philippines International, I should say. Shami, just look at that rigid 4 5 1. I went through the names. Why I called it, it could have been a, a 4 3 4 3. It's definitely 5 at the back. As for Johor, Farazan Malias in goal, Carly de Merga, Shamakuti, and Charles Saad, the centre backs. If needed, Hong Wan sits in front of them with Velasquez and Nazmi Faiz. The wing is provided by Arif Ayman, on the ball there. Shami Safari, who's about to receive the ball here, or maybe not. Bergson and uh, Akira Rashid in front. Here is Shami Safari. Leandro. 
patience again from Johor. Hong Wong feeds it back. Boshue wanted the decision going his way. Arif, he's only got to the byline once. He's an exciting winger, is Arif Ayman. He got to the byline and uh, Maki Rashid couldn't knock in the resulting cross. I should say it was well defended by Chen Kun, who's out defending here. Velasquez. Hong Wong. Akia, cleverly done. Then not so cleverly done, and awkward from Chen Kun. Had a good debut so far. Won't be thrilled to have his own players shooting at him though. Chen Kun, no way in. Was that um, a back pass? And that's not a good touch from Shami Safari. Clears no nonsense. Then uh, Carly de Merga just stronger there than Go Chen. Finds his goalkeeper Farizal. That's how it stands at the moment. Johor would be top. And they've got a, a head to head advantage over Ulsan. So if they draw. Their head-to-head -head takes them ahead of Ulsan, but if Kawasaki beat Guangzhou, then it becomes a three-team group, and it becomes goal difference, not head-to-head, that -head, settles things. That's why it's so frustrating for Johor. But if Guangzhou play like this against Kawasaki, you never know, they might frustrate the Japanese champions. Only the top team goes forward. And the best three of five Eastern Group second place teams. Six minutes played in this second half, and it's rather been a repeat of the first half. Loads of jaw possession. Might as well flicks it wide to Shami. Not a vast amount of penetration. Crowd doing their best to up the tempo. Velasquez, that's a nice touch. Now, will he trust his left foot? The answer is no. Very rarely. And Nazmi can't keep the ball in play. Nazmi. Bergson, what a dummy. Akurashi. Two Guangzhou players throw themselves at Akia as he tried to put in a left shot, left footed shot. Outrageous dummy by Bergson. Maybe needed to hit it first time. Back live. Hong one. Shal Saad. Johor's pass percentage completion is high. It's largely been sideways and backwards, and the Merga just has to make sure that Yego Chen 
hasn't got anything on him. And Farizal picks out Carly Demurga once again. Nine red shirts drop back. Nazmi. Bergson pulls it back, looks for Velasquez. Jofang did well. There's the dummy. Akiova's on the right wavelength, maybe has to hit it first time. Takes the extra touch. And that's a good tracking back by Tianqing. Retention clearly the order of the day. Arif looks for Shami Safari, not cleared by Chen Kun. Bergson to Leandro. Shamakuti, he wants it on his right foot as well. Nazmi. to a tee, lovely ball. Akia looks for Bergson, who's beautifully defended. Just taken out of the game by Fungi Fan. That's Lever defending. And Bergson strong enough to hold off Fungi Fan. Just like himself as a hard man, Fungi Fan. Chami Safari. Thought there was a little tuck back on the arm. Referee right there again. Said he went down a little bit too easily. Go, Jem. Flag stays down. Oh, flag goes up. Well, Shane thought he'd uh, got a run on Farizal there. And it's the right call. Bergson. Well, Yang Si and Bergson. After that little contretemps earlier on when Yang Si was Really flying into the back of Bergson, and Bergson was proving that he could uh, withstand anything the centre-half could give him. Referee didn't see a foul at the time, but has given both players just a warning. Flag, flag goes up. Velasquez couldn't keep that in. Well, after the high intensity of the matches so far, as we look at more Velasquez uh, magic, Sada plays it out. Tian Ching. Tian Shi. Scything challenge coming in. Again, Shami Safari. Used his left foot there. Sideways and backwards. Sliding challenge from Sada. Harry Feynman. Yeah, stays on the floor again for the third time in this match. Yeah, it looked like he avoided the challenge. Sada, confident. 
Tian Ching, confident. Free kick against Arif. And that's been interesting to see these Guangzhou lads growing into this competition. Clearly outclassed early on. The 5 0 and the 8 0 were hard to take. And then the performance against Ulsan, although they were defeats by three and five, showed improvement. And then this is a foul by Shami Safari. And a yellow card for Shami Safari. And an injury for Ligia Howell. Oh, yes. Put the studs right down the inside of the ankle there. Defending. It might break to Yang Si. Guo Xie. Fires into the side netting. Well, there's been one or two little warning signs for Johor. This second goal. They're certainly using the squad at their disposal. They've got a massive squad. Seven foreign players, 15 full Malaysian internationals have been used so far. And there's another three full Malaysian internationals not been used, although Mohamed Samare looks like he's ready to come on. about to get his first taste of the AFC Champions League. Well, this season's AFC Champions League, I should say. Played in the group stages last year. Played pretty well. Found himself on the periphery of the JDT team this season. Safi Grahim comes in as well for Leandro Velasquez. Shama Kuti who's replaced. Here is Samari. Bergson will chase. That may well be a corner kick. Indeed it is. Eighteen-year-old goalkeeper Jang Ji Hao says, "Let's get back. Let's get organised." Headed <laughs> just wide by Cheryl Sard. To the eastern corner in Cheryl Sard, just ghosted into space. Well, they are man-to-man -man marking there, and Charles Saad lost his man and maybe should have done better. So, changes for Guangzhou. Familiar changes. Bang Kaito comes on. And two men Gan both have played in this tournament so far. Jumengam will go into the central midfield role, vacated by Chen Jumfeng. And Diego Chen is replaced up front by Haijo.
This is by no means secure for Johor. Guangzhou, as we maybe go into the, if it remains like this, into the final 20 minutes, they may fancy coming out and maybe trying to chase a goal. Hong Guan, what a lovely ball for Samari. Good vision, just didn't come off. Sard. Massive disparity in terms of possession. But Tamara just runs into a, a cul-de-sac. Gets the throw in. Arif. Yeah, free kick has been awarded to Arif, even though he'd uh, wriggle clear of the challenge. Shirts in the penalty area. I tell you what, Akira Rashid is completely unmarked. There's one blue shirt unattended there. A lot of dancing around, and the referees, as is their want, warn the players about contact. Nazmi goes into an area in the front post. will not count, but Sumare is getting a telling off here. Safi Graheem just trying to pinch a couple of yards cheekily. Well, it's been quite a build-up for this free kick. A lot of Johor movement, Safiq, Bergson, great save, great save by Bergson. Bit of cramp as well for a Guangzhou team. That's a fine stretch, because Bergson's done well. well that's arrowing into the corner, isn't it? And Zhang Jihao can be proud of his debut. Back on his line. Bungie Fan does just enough. Meantime, uh, Wang Tian Ching is receiving treatment for cramp. severe enough that he needs to come off. So hurry changes. Wide of the far post. 
They've really struggled with set plays in this tournament, Guangzhou. They can't seem to either pick up man to man or cope with the movement or trust themselves only. Bergson before and Demerga here, both getting clean headers and earlier Cheryl Saad. None of those finding the back of the net. And as we're into the final quarter, Guangzhou is still in this game. Kaiju, beaten by Cheryl Saad. Long ball over the top, but Bergson is offside. Just I'll take away the aberration that was the Kawasaki Frontale result, five goals conceded. Johor normally very, very tight defensively, they've only conceded once in the league in four matches. Here's Sumare. Kept a clean sheet in the FA Cup. And they also held Kawasaki goalless in the first game. As Ari Fireman tries one trick too many. And again, Guangzhou, without being expansive, can be proud of what they're achieving here in preventing Johor playing. He is full of tricks, isn't he? Arif goes one way, then tries the other. Did look like there was a click on the ankle, ankle, but referee not interested. Final 20 minutes. Is this where Guangzhou come out to play? Hong Guan. Kaizhou, yeah, wrestles his man to the ground rather aggressively. De Mercury was and the Filipino. Well, as soon as he felt the contact, he knew that's going to be a free kick. Ball over the top, meanwhile, is too much for Samare. It's been a disjointed Johor performance. But for Benjamin Mora, absolutely vital that they get a win. 1 0 is fine. For him, maybe not for the crowd, but 1 0. Puts them joint top on points with Ulsan, but a better differential in terms of a head to head. But the complication comes in. If Ulsan win, Ulsan win the group. If Johor win, Johor win the group. This is on Saturday. But if Kawasaki beat Guangzhou, well, it then gets very interesting. Kawasaki win the group. Sumare dances through a couple of challenges. Nazmi. Shami Safari. That time he smuggled it down to Akya Rashid. And Akya slips as he prepares the cross. He is a thrilling, thrilling, thrilling player at his best. And he stayed down. This is worrying. This is for the fourth time. He has been holding his back for most of this second half, Akira Rashid. I'm wondering if there was a knock that received in the first half that, that has just not been able to get rid of. The change has been called. And referee decides that with the injury, let's... Uh... Oh, no, he's not called for the drinks break. It's a little bit embarrassing the way he slipped, but he has slipped, and his right ankle gave way. And a change is being called for by the Johor. 
or is it? It's very confusing. One of the trainers seems to be saying, yeah, let's make a change. It's over Nazmi. Kamurka does well. Hong Wan, ooh, he's taken out. Right, Tian Chi is in trouble. I thought it'd been yellow carded in the first half. Tian Chi, he has, it's a red card. Tian Chi, second yellow. I was sure Tian Chi had been yellow carded in the first half. Well, he's still on the pitch. We'll have that one adjudged. It's, uh, he pulls out of the challenge, luckily, for Hong Wan. Hong Wan is on the ball now. Well, I was convinced Tian Chi had a yellow. I know. See how did. Hong Wan. Shami Safari. Safik. Another corner. Ten thousand plus the attendance. As there is a drinks break here. I'd love to get to the bottom. I was convinced um, referee had handed out a, a yellow card. To Tian Shi in the first half. But it's been spirited, you've got to say that from Guangzhou. And you can see the coach is now believing, and do the players believe that they can get something out of this? Well, Xue had a close eye for the goal. A couple of fine interventions from Zhang Jihao. This is the best of them. Bergson gets the header in. And Jihao flying to his right. Johor have had the chances to make this safe, but they haven't made it safe. So with about 15 minutes on the clock, another corner to worry about for Guangzhou. But then they might just think, they might just believe themselves. Safik, sad is block. Now the break is on if it's played quickly. Oh, good defending from Hong Wan. Kai Zhu's done well, good strength. Tian Shi, Sada leaves it and there's four Red shirts in the penalty area, that'll be a corner kick. Their third of the night. S. Kunalan is going to come on. For the beleaguered Aki Rashid. S. Kunalan, another international. That's now 17 internationals, Malaysian internationals, and seven foreign players that Johor have utilized in this AFC Champions League group. Talk about making use of your resources. And what a group of resources it is, but... Does all the chopping and changing. Is it gonna be a problem? <laughs> Foul goes against Guo Shui. Teenager was screaming for the foul way beforehand, but there's nothing in that, absolutely nothing. Arif switch now to this left-hand side, gets to the byline. Safiq hustles. 
He wants to take it quickly. Guangzhou not organized. Samare completely unmarked on the back post. Now they're organized and they can clear. Safari has to chase. Charles Saad is over covering. Kunalan moved to right wing back. Here is S. Kunalan. Vastly experienced Kunalan. Hey. The Malaysia Cup as far ago as uh, 2009, if I recall. For Negri Sembalan. Two goals conceded in the five matches by Guangzhou, but only one today. Ishal Saad. Outside Samari, Samari wants to hit the byline. Can't keep it in play. Explosive place, pace from Samari. Just ran out of pitch. Ching does well, Sade does well. certainly are growing into the game. Kaijo. Confident enough to take on two players. Then gives the ball away to Arif Ayman. Bergson's on the move. Arif didn't play it. Head down from Arif and he's tackled in possession. And the ball is on, but... Boucher would have been offside. Safik. Nazmi. Samari made a run, but the pass from Nazmi was telegraphed. There's Gunala. Changes for Johor. Harry Feynman to be replaced by Ramadan. Ramadan Saifullah scored a terrific goal, the last of the five. And Adam Noor Aslin, another international, comes on to replace Shami Safari. really really is making use of all the many resources that they've got very interesting strategy from Benjamin Mora clearly learning from last year where the players seem to run out of steam he made nine changes for today for the Kawasaki game there were five changes for the second game Compared to the team that starts in the first. Now the likes of Nacho Inter have had a complete rest 
now for two matches. But they've still got to see the job through. Here's Ramadan Saifullah. All the way back to Kunala. Resources have been changed and the system slightly changed as well. Kunalan's now operating on the left-hand side, kind of left wing back. The Shami Safari roll. Safik. Well, that 15th minute works a penalty. There have been bright moments. Akia denied on the line by Chen Kun. Berks denied by the crossbar. Goalkeeper Li Hao with a, a couple of very, very good saves. One in particular from Bergson. Shafiq tries to just put a bit of backspin on for Kunalan to chase forward. Way, taken out by Adam Noraslin. Clumsy from Adam. He's another who's not had much game time this season. Twenty-nine players now used in this AFC Champions League group by Johor. Chanchink. Tumagan. Slides it inside. Chanchink. Couldn't get the cross away. Farazal looking for quick release. Merckx have wanted it and is furious that Farazal didn't release. A little stamp of indignation from Bergson and an apology you saw from Farazal. Ramadan. Oh. Samari didn't expect it to beat the left back. Wang Tian Ching. He's gone down. He's not wasting time because his team have half a belief they might get something out of this, which would be devastating for Johor. Chansu, Hong Wong. he's been very, very steady, Hong Wong. Safik, Ramadan, looks for Shafiq. That's Kunalan, Samare in the middle, Bergson again, furious that the delivery hasn't come through. I heard the bellow, I'm top of the main grandstand, and I heard Bergson's bellow of fury. Safik. This time Bergson wants it short, he's come short, desperate to get in the play. Johor happy to play, keep ball. The win is all important. Two minutes to play, Adam Noraslin. Guangzhou, shift the five, the four, across and sideways. Oh, 
Samari chases and again is just beaten by the run of the ball off the slick turf. Change is going to be Lee Jahe coming off. And Liu makes his way on. Liu Shi Hao. Cramp is horrible. Both legs as well. Oh, ouch. He's put in a real shift, has Lee Jiahao. Again, there's nothing but admiration for what the Guangzhou boys, and they are boys, predominantly 18, 19, 20, 21 year olds. There's a, a couple of older players in there just to try and help things along. <laughs> nothing but admiration the way they've gone about their mission impossible. Here's Bergson in the action like he wants to be. Wants to get the cross in, three in the penalty area. This time it's Bergs who doesn't put the cross in. Boche, Hong Guan, which just shielded very nicely. Against Guangzhou, he can do it against Kawasaki. He was a little bit exposed, Hong Guan. But he's not played many games, so... What a, a great learning experience for him. Just more keep ball amongst the back three now. Four minutes to kill. Make sure the points are safe. That was all the objective was for the coach. And to make sure he gave some squad players some AFC Champions League time and rested his key personnel. So Leandro will be fresh. Nacho will be fresh for Ulsan. Ulsan. Oh, Skunalan is caught. Be a, a yellow card for Subchu Kajo. No complaints. ending but three points is all important Bergson shot rifles into Ifan Sumare lifts it up Raman outside Fuller Bergson but the red wall closes in his goalkeeper you've got to have the duff games occasionally we had a splendid encounter this afternoon Ulsan beating Kawasaki Frontale by three goals to two to put themselves in charge of their own destiny if they win if Ulsan win on Saturday against Johor Ulsan win the group if Johor win on Saturday assuming Johor hold on to this three points then Johor win the group but if they draw and Kawasaki win on Saturday, Kawasaki win the group. Hong Kong. Well, it was 5-0, an explosive start to the tournament for Johor. 
Last time they played Guangzhou at the same venue. That was on April the 15th. Now, 12 days later, it's a much more labor performance with a very different team. Nazmi might fancy an effort. Nazmi, great blocking once again. Bergson for Ramadan Saifullah, penalty. Second penalty of the game, Ramadan Saifullah. Played in by Bergson. Uh, for the protest, there's going to be a yellow card as well. Bangui fan, one protest too many. And again, I think there's no real doubt about it. Ramadan Saifullah was played in. Got the touch away. Yangsin, yellow card. Uh, Chet Kun is, is, is kicked Ramadan. He doesn't mean to. He's looking at the ball. But he has, he's kicked Ramadan side fuller. For that, it's a penalty. Bergson, as we look again, looks to make it two for the night. Bergson went to the keeper's left in the 15th minute. Bergson this time, same play, same result. And Bergson's sixth AFC Champions League goal of this campaign, his fifth against Guangzhou, his second penalty, and his 13th of a productive season. The points at last secured took him a long time. While the Johor players can celebrate, it's really quite gratifying just to see how, how much this hurts the Guangzhou players. They put everything into this, they really have. That's a fabulous penalty. Even the keeper going the right way. Can't stop it. As we're watching the replay, the final whistle goes. And Guangzhou are beaten by two goals to nil, but this has been their bravest performance. Bergson celebrates his two-goal haul. Guangzhou not thrilled with either penalty decision by the referee, but both look to be absolutely spot on to this correspondent. Joe Darrell tags him, have rotated the squad. They've given fringe players opportunities. They've kept the clean sheet. They've got the 5-0 out of the system. And they are level on points with Ulsan at the top of the group. Ulsan to play on Saturday. So their destiny is in their own hands. And this group of players will be much changed come Saturday, but for now, they've picked up the points, they've done the job that was tried. It's finished at the Sultan Ibrahim Stadium. Guangzhou FC nil, Johor Darul Taksim two, Bergson from the penalty spot twice.